Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Lens, where I go behind the scenes of all your favorite lenses. So today we're going to go over the user contact system and how you can use it and how I've used it to give my friends secret messages in my lenses or enable and disable lenses for certain people. So let's just hop right into it. So the first thing we can do is we can go to add new script and we can double click that script that was just made to open it up in the script editor, a super useful tool that's built in right into Lens Studio. So just copying that code that is in the description or in a paste bin link, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, but anyways, the point is it's here, right? So uh, let me just format this a little bit better. Um, this is all the code you need to get started. So let's go this out. Let's go this uh, line by line. So first we're adding in this component text and it's gonna be a text object, right? Uh, that text object can be found here. I'm using this only for testing. Uh, you don't have to use this or not, right? So this global user context system line right here is super important. This is what allows us to request the user's display name so we can uh, check it against something. So the user's display name is different from their username. You can see here in the screenshot that I took, the top is my display name, and that right under there is my username. Uh, in Lens Studio, we cannot get the user's username. We can only get their display name. Also another thing is that using this code is really hard, uh, especially when the person you're targeting has emojis in their name, um, because like you can't use emojis in JavaScript, or you can't use emojis in JavaScript in Lens Studio, it's really challenging to do this without uh, exposing your secret message to people uh, that you don't intend to. So for now, we're just going to stick with simple display names. So as you can see, my display name on Snapchat is Nicholas Dominici, and we can use this if statement to determine if the display name is Nicholas Dominici, right? And then if that is, we can uh, run anything that's in this if function, or if statement, I should say. So that means we'll be changing this script.textObject.text to hey Nicholas, right? So nothing happens when we run that code. Uh, why? We have the script, we have the uh, text right here. Well, that's because we haven't added our script into our object scene. What we can do is if the inspector is empty, we can just take that script, and drag it over to an empty space here, and it'll automatically create it in the uh, objects panel. Uh, I'm going to rename this to controller because that's what I usually like to rename my, uh, my script objects to um, because it controls everything that goes on in the lens. So we can see here that we have the text object that's blank. We can take this scene object or screen text object and drag it right into there and boom. The script's already saved. Refresh. Nothing happens still. Why is that? Well, that is because our username is not Nicholas Dominici in Lens Studio, right? Of course. So to find out what our username is, what I can just do is I can just print. And keep in mind that whenever you're referencing a display name, it all has to happen within this function. So you can see user global context system in between this and this here. You cannot call the, um, you cannot get the value of the display name outside its function. So keep that in mind. So what we can do is we can just print uh, display name and I'll uh, semicolon to the end of that because it's JavaScript. Uh, make sure I do that for everything else actually. Right? So print display name and we can see here in the log that our display name is snap user. So now that we know that, we can change to see if the display name will equal snap user, which we know it will. To snap user, right? And there it is. Hey Nicholas, that's the thing here, right? Really, I can change this to anything I want. There. Super fun. Um, yeah. So that's how that works. So let's say you don't like this one person. And you really don't want them to use their lens. Because you know you make great lenses. And you don't want them to benefit off of your talent. Right? After all they've done to you. So what you can do is you can take their Snapchat username. Let's say their Snapchat username is Billy. Billy M. Billy XM, right? Not their username, but their display name, right? So let's say it's Billy XM, right? That's the display name. This is not a real person. I just made that up on the spot. Uh, what you can do is you can put their username into here, right? And you can send them a nasty message, like, bruh. You can get the nastiest of the messages, which of course it doesn't appear here in Lens Studio. Um, but what I can do is I can actually, in Lens Studio, I can manually change. I don't know if this works uh, on the actual phone. I wouldn't try it. But I can set display name to um, 
I'll change it to Billy accent for now, right? just for reference. So now that the username is equal to, or now that the display name is equal to Billy XM, uh, we can just test it on this line, right? So that's just sending a, ma a message, right? Which is kind of boring. No one really cares about that. But what if you wanted them to just not use your lens at all? So let's say you added a nice face mesh, you put some nice designs on it, right? Uh, I'll switch it to this, right? So cool designs. Uh, let's use a material library just to get this, you know, get this going. Um, let's say you did a 3D Mosaic, right? 3D Mosaic, and then let's make that, that, right? Super cool lens that you made, uh, but you don't want Billy XM using it. So, his username is already in the script editor, right? So if the display name is equal to Billy XM, which for Billy XM in real life, if he tries to use this lens, this will be accurate. So this will be true. So any code in here is going to run only for Billy XM. So what we can do is we can do script dot uh, face. Uh, but first, let me just add this component here. Input actually scene object, and then face, and then in the controller thing here, we can just get out, go back in, and the face thing shows up. We can drag our face mesh right into there, right? Face. So now we can here. Now we can do here is script dot face dot enabled equals false. So only for Billy XM will this lens not do anything at all. Super powerful if you want to get back at some people, right? Uh, of course, if their username was literally anything else, such as Snap user, they would be able to use the lens just fine. It's a pretty big power move if you straight up tell them why it doesn't work. Because <laughs> you are a master coder, right? So, that's how it's done. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, this user context system can be used for so many different things. Uh, it's not even display names. It can be birthdays, uh, the user's location, their weather. So if you want a lens to only work in a specific location, you can do that. If you want it to not work in a specific location, you can do that. Lenses that work only in um, like the winter time, you can set the date, uh, the date range. That's super fun. There's so many possibilities for the user context system. Uh, I'm super excited to see what you guys do with it. Uh, and that's all for this episode of Behind the Lens. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip. Peace.